Hello and welcome to my new series on entity manipulation language. Today I'll be starting a series of videos that I'll be creating on entity manipulation language EML. During this whole session we will understand what EML is, how it has been utilized, where it has been utilized and stuff like that. But before we actually delve into EML, as you know, it is entity manipulation language. That means it has to, it is been used in REP for entity manipulation. In order to understand what entity manipulation or how entity manipulation works, you should know what entities are. In order to understand the artifacts that we have to create in RAP, please visit my YouTube channel where I have already created a playlist in my last series uh, where we have developed a read-only application using SAP RAP. We have exposed the OData and we have seen the, uh, the uh, complete read-only application. Let us go through and understand where we had left our OData application earlier. <clears throat> so, this is our read-only application that we have developed and I have already opened the application for us. So, this is the application that we had already developed wherein we had created a dynamic uh, global search uh, two search fields on airport and destination airport and departure airport. We had already assigned a value help to select one or multiple uh, values there that will come in. And uh, this was later added using the adapt filters here. You can directly go and remove that, but uh, destination and airport will be there already. We had already created a normal facet to display our connection, which had two facets. One was for connection details and the other was again a line item reference uh, facet that will display all the flights. Where we had left was we had not created any uh, object page for the flight details that needs to be done. I had left it to you guys to actually practice it for yourself. Okay. Before we actually start on EML, I just wanted to show you what are the changes that you need to do in order to get the flight details as well. For that, let's jump into the system and see what are the things that we have to do. So what we have to do is that in our flight uh, data definition, you have to define a facet for your flight, which will be of type identification reference because we are displaying only one instance of flight in a given point in time. At the same time, you also have to define all those fields that you want to display in your object page list using the annotation at the rate UI.identification. As you can see, currency code is not defined in any of the uh, annotation, not even in identification, neither on the line item, because price is connected to currency code. They both are semantically related object and we have to take care of this using the semantic uh, annotation that we have seen here last time. So that was all with what we had to do, okay? Uh, one thing which I wanted to show you is that, let's say if I don't want to display my seat occupied, which we are displaying here as max seat, uh, sorry, seat occupied as occupied 213, you can directly just remove this, activate it, and then that will be moved out of your, um, object page that has been displayed. Once that is activated, 
is it not activated okay let me refresh and that is gone and that is the reason now it is showing all the remaining items that is there before i start on entity manipulation language i would like to show you what kind of application that you can define using eml for that let us let me jump into the system and show you a transactional application that i have already developed using uh, rap and eml the application that i have created is this wherein you have a service url uh, and you have contact and address to entities with a value help on the gender let us see how this is displayed and how it operates works or how it functions i have actually open the previously read only application that we had already generated using the connection and the flight details wherein we can see the connection and the relevant flight only read only application nothing there if you now see our transactional app which is which i have created it has some features here and that is nothing but it has a create and delete functionality there is one additional functionality that i have added called set active which is nothing but an action that you can define we will look into all those concept in our upcoming uh, videos or upcoming sessions uh, on on uh, sap rap development using managed scenarios uh, now we have create and we have delete we same similarly we have a global search functionality on the first name middle name last name you can see there are certain uh, values that are there you can actually click any of the thing and if it is uh, not active it will allow you to delete if you see if i go and click on any entity which is oh this is also not working properly i'll have to check on that uh, so you can actually uh, set the status to from active to inactive using this field and you see now this has become inactive similarly even you you can go and create your own entities by giving the first name middle name last name and all those details with first name being mandatory okay uh, similarly you can uh, edit some of the fields that you have already created you will get a edit and delete here as well and if you see if i am making it uh, active as uh, my current record is active if i click on the set active it will make it no at the same time if you have seen here in this area the uh, two buttons on edit and delete are gone because those functionalities you can actually uh, control using a concept called feature control in rap we will look into that going ahead okay similarly you when you come back you can actually go and uh, edit any of the entries now i have to go and edit and change the telephone number from 52 to 53 and this i will make from 71 to say 70 and mark the age the age is 53 i just save it come back and the age is now 54 so internally it also does a calculation for age and that concept is called uh, determination in rap terminology okay so this is something that we had again uh, you also have a global search that you can define on the association level uh, which is nothing but the address in this case i can actually go and search any of the fields there okay give me all the values which has hyd in it and we see that okay there is only one entry with city hyderabad there okay i can go and either press this button or 
press enter key it will give me all the things that are there now uh, on top of it we have again seen in our last uh, session that we can actually go and see the details of address but with a transactional functionality of edit delete as well here okay you can go and edit now here and uh, uh, you can change it from uh, Telangana to say for example uh, Andhra and it will save it as Andhra now okay you see save it as Andhra uh, we have also gone and created a good understanding header which shows us okay this particular entry is for Munir and the address is for Hyderabad for Imperial Garden that we are trying to adjust let's go back and try to create something and i am just trying to create uh, something on this that this is uh, street 34 uh, los angeles oh no uh, uh, matthew church and uh, city is Los Angeles I don't know whether it is a city or not but let's see pin code is 404401 state can be USA for example it's not again it's USA is the country so state is uh, Alabama for example and I'm not giving any country here uh, I'm just giving this as a example that uh, of one of the other functionality that you can create in RAP terminology. Now when I click on create, you see it has given a country with a default value of India. This concept is again called determination that we will look into going ahead. As soon as we do it, it will just uh, create, uh, give me that okay, now again I am actually editing Street 4 Los Angeles. I can go from here back to Munir. It says that okay, we are now editing the contact of Munir Solkar here, which is nothing but the first name and the last name that I have used here. Okay, so this kind of application, complete transactional application, is something that you can build using uh, the EML concept. I will stop this session here, and in our next session, we will start with our EML topic. Thank you, and happy learning.